This video covers antenna options for LoRa and Mishtastic applications. Starting from smaller ones that generally ship with boards you purchase to uh, halfway dipoles, which all these 20 centimeters antennas are, 40 centimeter ones, outdoor and two directional antennas. Moxon rectangle and uh, five element Yagi. Starting from the smaller ones, it normally ships with a board you buy. I've plugged in the smallest one in SWR meter and um, it's actually not bad for this size. SWR about 1.5. I've placed the pinpoint at 920 megahertz. This is default uh, Mishtastic public channel frequency. The actual center of this antenna probably 942 megahertz. Next one is slightly larger antenna. It generally comes with uh, Liligo products. Uh, you can straight away see how wider band coverage it can do. And the SWR is pretty good as well. Less than two. Next three are quite popular choice. That's why so many suppliers sell them. They come with SMA connectors or N-type. I ordered a number of them from different suppliers and in majority of cases they turn out to be fake. Uh, they centered at 890 megahertz and to cover both bands 9850 and 915. So I found one supplier that actually sell, sell genuine ones and they have uh, markings, frequency markings on the side of antenna. This one I found uh, produced by one company, link will be below. They actually perform very, very well. Um, this is my daily driver for omnidirectional antenna. Uh, I'm plugged it into SWR meter, you can see straight away uh, why I'm impressed with this particular make. It's SWR 1.1 on 920, it's exactly, exactly where I want it to be for Mishtastic operations. Next two antennas are recommended on Mishtastic website. Uh, manufacturer called Gizont. Uh, while my one is a market 915, it's a 20 centimeter version and a 40 centimeter version. Uh, for me, they actually same story. They 860 megahertz antenna just sold as a 915 because it technically covers both bumps anyway. Let's test. I've plugged smaller one, 20 centimeter, and you can straight away see it's a 850 antenna just sold as 915. Pretty much same story with the 40 centimeter one. Next set of antennas is uh, fiberglass outdoor rods. Again in 20 centimeter and 40 centimeter version. And they even have markings, 3 dBi for 20 centimeter and 5.5 dBi for 40 centimeter. Uh, this probably a theoretical values because I've did a t real life test with all these antennas, I plugged into my Meshtastic node, found a local node at about 3 km away, measure signal to noise ratio, and um, the only big difference, big jump, was from going to from small antennas to a uh, halfway length dipole, which is uh, 20 cm ones. Uh, on these antennas, uh, I've got a signal to noise ratio about minus 13, and the moment I plug any 20 cm one, I got minus 10. Uh, when I plugged 40 centimeter antennas, there was no difference anyway. There was no improvement in signal to noise ratio. I plugged in 20 centimeter fiberglass rod and performance is quite impressive. SWR is 1.0, uh, 1.1, 1 
at 915 megahertz. So yeah, it's one of the best antennas in this list. Coming to last two in my list are directional antenna, Moxon rectangle and uh, five element Yagi. Moxon advertised gain 5.7 dBi. Antenna tuned well for desired frequency. This is the Buya 1.6, 1.7. Next is of course Yagi with uh, advertised 7 dBi gain and SWR as low as 1.1. In summary, all these antennas are very good if bought from a right supplier. Smaller ones are good for cities uh, where distances are maybe less 3 to 5 kilometers and uh, 20 centimeter one can do up to 10 kilometers from my testing and of course your directional antenna if you need longest range 35 kilometers and more okay i hope it was useful and i will see you in next one